So for this video, we're going to look at this motor that we've downloaded from the internet. Uh, it's a model that we haven't made and we're gonna use it in our SumoBot project. Uh, however, because this is a model that we haven't made, um, there's some things that we need to do to it to make it easier for us to use uh, in our overall model. <clears throat> now, if you look at the left side of the screen here, and you look at my mouse, you'll see I have a couple of these right now. Uh, I've downloaded this one that the, the mouse is currently on, uh, but we're going to make a copy of it. I just right clicked, chose copy, and then you can just hit copy and it'll make a copy of it in this folder. Um, and so now we're actually working in this one right here, uh, which uh, I'll, I would say I'll go ahead and save as let's well I'll save in a second when we start working on it uh, but it's important that you make a copy of it just so you have the original file so uh, you can see I've already done it here I made a new version to make sure I think I know how to do this uh, so that I can show you guys uh, so go ahead and make a copy and then you can open up that copy and you should be seeing what we're seeing right here is this motor uh, in the file now I'm going to close that window here and we can go ahead and take a look at some things here. Uh, if we open up the browser window here and drop this down, you're gonna notice that there's the motor and then notice all of these components. Now, when we bring this into our main model file that you're gonna create for your Sumo bot, um, we don't want all of these components. It just becomes a little too crazy. We really want to simplify this and more or less make this two components. And the reason we want to make it two components is because we want to have some motion with it. And the motion is going to happen here at these this axle. So we're going to want this axle to be a separate component that can spin along the, the shaft here. But everything else in here can basically be one thing that we can turn uh, toggle off and on. Uh, right now, it's many different things, as you can see, as I'm toggling these things off and on. And that's just uh, a little too complex for what we really need. It makes it hard to work with in our model. So how do we sort of deal with this? A couple of things. We're going to first right click. Uh, on this kind of topmost part of the browser, and just double check that um, this is that this says capture design history. We don't want to click it. We actually don't want to capture design history. Um, that allows us to to do things and work on this model, uh, and then it it won't they won't exist anymore. So once we make these changes, it's not going to capture those, and it won't carry over into our next model. So. Make sure this says capture design history as a toggle we could turn on. Uh, if uh, it could say do not capture design history, and if it said do not capture design history, then you would want to click this so we're no longer capturing the design history. Um, so I'm not going to click it because it it's uh, already not capturing design history, and I know that because it's saying I could turn it on, and I don't want to. Sorry if that's a little confusing, but that's what that is. So the next thing we want to do is let's figure out which component this um, this shaft or axle is. So I'm just going to start to turn these off. Okay, it's not that one. This is the main body, so that's good to know. Okay, so this second one right here, part two, uh, one, is the axle. So let's see if I can go in, rename it axle. And then, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and here, and let's rename this one. Let's just rename it something like main body. Whoops, I want to capitalize main. Sorry. Okay, main body. Okay, so we got main body. Perfect. Now let's go up to the combine tool. Oh, actually, before we do that, we also notice here there's a surface. I, I, we're not going to need that. If I turn that off and on, there's something happening over here, but I don't really care. So I'm going to right-click on surface, and we're going to delete that. Now we can go to the Combine tool, and I'm just going to click 
on all the different parts except the axle. So there's a few different parts here. And you may have to hold down control when you do this. Hold on here one second while I do that. So I'm going to hold down control. Yeah, now I can. No, nope. it's not showing that I'm selecting them. Let's see. All right, what if I hold down nothing? That might be working. So all right, we're going around. And I'm just going to try and select all these things. These two, it's only showing me as two selected things. That's weird. Three. I need to be very particular about selecting. Four. Nope. Got rid of that one. All right, let's, um, we're just going to, we've got the four things. So let's just go ahead. Uh, we want this to be a join. These can be not selected. We'll click OK. All right. And if I open this up, I should have a body in the main body. Oh, it's showing me with a couple of bodies here. One, two. So the body two here, that's kind of most of the stuff right now. Let's see what else we got open. Any bodies here? So you can see in part eight one, there's no body. I'm just going to delete that now. Let's see what's in seven. No body. We'll delete that. Six. No body. Delete that. Five. There's a body in five. So I'm just going to leave that open. Four. There's a body. Let's leave that open. Three. No body. We'll delete that. And we have Axel. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try this combine again. I'm going to start with body two here because that's kind of the main thing. And now for these tool bodies, let's choose body three, body one, this body one, and this body one. So that should be everything now. And again, join and let's uh, keep these unchecked and we'll click OK. And that should just give us this main body here. And if I turn this off, everything but the axle turns off. So it is one body. Let's go ahead and just rename the body itself as main body. And so we got that. And I'm just going to open up the axle and name this one axle. Perfect. And now you can see 4.1 has nothing in it, so we'll delete that. And 5.1 has nothing in it, and we'll delete that. So now what we have is a, a body or a, a, a model here that's basically only made of two parts. We've got the axle and the main body. And now we can use those uh, once we get into our model, once we import this into the main model, uh, we can add joints to this so this can spin uh, and it's much simpler to move around uh, which you'll see uh, in other videos uh, to get this situated to where we want it to go as opposed to it being many different components. I hope that's uh, somewhat helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.